what are the tips? Give me some tips on how to work with Wes Anderson. Um, be ready to speak very fast and very <laughs> clearly because that's definitely one key thing. Um, prepare yourself for very tight clothes. <laughs> wait, wait, thing. Yeah, you're wearing baggy clothes. How did you I'm, deal with the tight clothes? Uh, well, you know, a lot of exercise and a lot of uh, good diet made sure <laughs> I was skinny. Did he, did he make sure you were skinny? Like, he, he kept being like, uh, let me take that chicken away. You, you're going to eat this uh, no. right here because we got some tight clothes next He week. loves, you know, he loves food. So he'll have uh, his own cook and he'll have these huge feasts every night with all the actors, you know. Wow. And it's great. It creates a family environment. So he wouldn't mind me eating, but I had to do it for myself because if not, I would probably bend down and rip the pants <laughs> seam of my uh, costume. So what's another tip? We have we have speak fast and clearly be speak be, fast, be speak wear, clearly. ready to and wear the third tight one, clothes. Huh. Just have fun on his sets because, I mean, you will already have fun, but just open yourself up and mm -hmm. he'll he'll direct you where he need where you need to go. He's a genius in that way, and you just need to be open to his direction. When you're working with Wes Anderson, he's such a specific kind of director. His shots are so. Uh, so sort of so specifically composed. How do you work like that as a newcomer? How do you work within those shots, those frames? Well, he's very prepared in every detail, down from the sets to the costumes to the actors themselves. So he and I had prepared about four months before the initial shooting, talking, reading lines to each other. You worked with him for four months? Uh, about, like we would send tapes to each other, me reading the script and him, his notes, mm -hmm. uh, going back and forth. And it was great to be prepared, and he also made these storyboard animations mm -hmm. called animatics, which are storyboard animations, and you could see how he wants, he dubs his own voice over them, so he knows, you know how he wants, how fast he wants the line, how he wants you to move, and how the frame's gonna look before you even enter set. Mm -hmm. And is he, is he a calm director? Is he, does he keep you calm? Were you nervous at all with Ray Fiennes, Bill Murray, all these people? Absolutely, you hit the nail on the head. Um, <laughs> He is who extremely most, calm. Who are you most nervous to meet on the set? Uh, probably Jeff. Jeff Goldblum. Really? Yeah. Why I is mean, that? Jurassic Park. Every kid's <laughs> little dream, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, meeting him was very exciting. Mm -hmm. I'd love Jurassic Park, Independence Day, all these great films. And uh, very, he's just an amazing guy who's very generous and... He's super calm and nice, and same with everyone on the set. They help me feel relaxed and comfortable, so I never really felt, oh my God, mm -hmm. this huge cast, I'm working with them, pressure's building, and. Right, I mean, Ray Fiennes, it's not like you were a huge English Patient fan. You, I'm sure you weren't too nervous meeting Ray Fiennes. Well, I, I was a bit scared, because I mean, he's done these intense yeah. characters, like Schindler's List and all these characters over his long career, and so finally he's doing this kind of character, this comedy, um, but the first day I met him, he looks at me and he gives me a big smile and a big hug and just immediately, whew, wow. all my fear was gone. And immediately that's where their connection, you know, was made. 